Good evening, everybody, and welcome to race number seven of the Cup Series here at Iowa Speedway, which is our only short track that we're going to have in the Cup Series for this season. And this should be rather interesting here because we had a really good outback race. Mostly calm, had only two cautions take place, and in the end, Jessica Shelton took a victory on that one. Right now, she's starting on the outside pole for this race. Can she sweep the weekend? But we're going to find out. Cody Lamas on the pole for today's race, as mentioned. Shelton started second, third, Zach Rogers, fourth, Johnny Gardner, fifth, Anthony Ritchie, sixth, Chris Washer, seventh is Devin Becker, eighth, Anthony, Anthony McCurry, ninth, Mason Hart, swing top ten, Kyle Matthews. This time, no more problems for Devin Becker, looks like. He'll be all good to go, hopefully. And here's the rest of your starting line from 11 on back. And on the final row, we have Jackie Tang and Tanner Sullivan. Sullivan with a new scheme in the two. And also, James Qualls running a one off of Bulletproof Energy Drink. So, really interesting to see if Jessica Shelton can sweep the weekend here at Iowa. She has a really good car, and she almost got the pull, but just came a little short on going after Cody. Cody managed to just have the speed to take the advantage. So, we are going to go to the nun camera angle here. Go. William Duncan barely beat RJ Bishop at Ireland which was our, our uh, second road course of the season on our only dirt road course. And that was uh, probably one of the best road courses I've ever, road course races I've ever seen in a while. Uh, good try by RJ Fisher, but just came a little short. But we're about ready to go uh, take the fan here, so let's go down trackside. Drivers, start your engines! While I stutter because I can't say crap for me. All right, so we're going to be here for 38 laps of action, and here we go. Forty-two cars you can see here have rolled on off. Cody Lawrence in car number forty-eight out in front for tonight's race. Hopefully everything will be all good to go. Hands are up on their feet, and the green flag is underway here in Iowa. Oh, Johnny Carter got a piece of the wall right there, and he's held up that outside line right there. And three wide in turn number four. Hitting lap number one is going to be Cody Lamas. Sheldon did get the wall earlier. She's fine, and oh boy, that's not good. Kyle Matthews in a three wide fiasco with Michael Walton and others. Oh, that ain't good there. No, there's no snow nine. Saved it. Oh, that's oh, that's not good at all. They were four wide and they kept it together. Wow, and Matthews now hits the wall again. Left and right side damage for the Beast Chevrolet. The Beast Kings Island Chevrolet there for S3 Motorsports. Looking through. Everybody's just trying to scatter around here, trying to do what they can. Evan Becker, ever since they fixed up that 98 there, he is now been a fast guy. He is the fond of the short tracks here, so no surprise. He's a really good racer here on these type of tracks. If he can get the win, though, that'd be huge. Right now, top three is Cody Lamas, Zach Rogers, and Anthony Ritchie there. Looking really good there. Top five, Mason Powers there in car 41. And the Haas Monster Energy Chevrolet. And now sixth place is Clint Spillman, the 500 winner. Sheldon has been slipping back as well as Johnny Gardner. Now here comes the former champ, Chris Washer, trying to go for two in a row here and trying to get his third championship to the inside of Sheldon. Will get the pass as two is Zachary Fitzwater. Oh, trouble McCurry, Michael Norman. And they save it. For a minute, I thought Trent Dunham's got damage, but guess not. And oh, car in the wall, it's the 18 of Alex May. And that's not good where he's at. As he also knows, too, the Psych Keith guys, DJ Curtis and others, they're not in their breast cancer awareness cars. 
for their Halloween cars you've seen. They're now back to their regular team. So you see Kyle Keith back in the regular target. It's been done in the regular Sega regular Sega car there. Uh, Zack Packager back in his own regular car and also Pritchard back into his uh, 44 Air Asia. And we got a report. The two's down a cylinder. That's another race where another car's been dropping a cylinder and having some problems. Oh, Connor Meyer there. Almost Kyle Matthews there. Some trouble. Keep it together. Mesos, three wide racing has been extraordinary. Amazing there. Wow, Matthews got a great run into one, but not going to get it off two, though. It's a race as if it's the last lap here throughout this pack. Oh, Shell really slipped the corner. And she is in the wall again. This is a really tight car. She has not seemed to get off that wall there. Oh, she's really trying to dig it in. Is that 0 2? And in the wall again. So far, though, we are still clean and green, though. All of this, however, behind. R48, Cody Lamas, he is just running away with this as much as he can. Zach Rogers trying to get an opportunity to pass as well with the five of Anthony Ritchie. Folks, we're going to take a very quick commercial break there because I got a phone call here and I'm just going to see what's going on. So we'll be right back after this very, very, very quick commercial break. Welcome back. As you have not missed much there, Cody Lamas continuing the cruise, trying to to run away from Zach Rogers. The top two began to break away. Tanner Sullivan with his car having some trouble. He has not been able to stay in that pack. It's really taken a toll. Amazingly enough, though, we have had no cautions ever since the, the sight of the green flag. However, there's a ton of damage. A ton of drivers with uh, right side damage, as you've seen the example of Michael Walton there. Jessica Shelton. Just to name a few. So your top 10 rundown looks like this. Cody Lamas, your leader. Zach Rogers, the highest running rookie in second. Anthony Rich, third. Devin Becker, fourth. Jeff Mason Power, sixth. Glenn Spillman, seventh. Chris Washer, eighth. Zachary Pitswater, ninth. William Duncan completing the top 10. Stephen Pauling, the third. Top 20 is Dylan Pote. Michael Walton, Anthony Curry, Paul Barber, Johnny Gardner, Michael Norman, Kyle Keith, Brett Pritchard. Trent Dunham and Levi McIntyre they're about the 21st is Navarro and PJ Curtis Navarro went extremely high and he almost uh, hit the wall there to that uh, Charter Toyota there very close call but they kept it together though that's about the 21st 23rd is Jessica Sheldon after all what's happened to her she's trying to get back up into the top 20 and trying to work her way on the ground there oh Tang that's it in comments contact they keep it together Still amazed though, we have not had a caution, and that almost happened. That was really close. I don't know how we had did not have a caution there, but man, these drivers are racing extremely well. Zach Rogers lost some ground from Cody Lamas, and now we got two more blue cars into the picture. Anthony Ritchie and Deb Becker. It's basically a blue car show right now. Light blue, mar uh, dark blue. And then the first non-blue cars, Mason Powers and Clint Spillman there. Literally, like, most of, the, most of the cars in the top ten have the color of blue, the exception of Trent Dunham. And Connor Meyer and also Caleb Harris, who's 41st right now. Now Rogers trying to get some ground back on Lamas, getting away from Richie and Becker. Tell you what, though, get rid of Devin Becker in that Knox board, though. He's actually running very well. Take a, take a look at his view here. He's fourth right now. Ever since they have fixed the car, we're now able to run into the pack. It's looking really good for him. Now at the halfway point of this race, keep in mind too, as you see in this view there, Anthony Ritchie is all perceptive. Well, really may look for an opportunity if that happens. Cody may continue to run away with that lead. Look 
at Anthony Richie. You can tell he really wants to get that second position, but he's going to have to fight to get that spot. Anthony Richie really has had a lot of a lot of things come against his way in both the Xfinity and Cup. But however, he's had more luck in the Xfinity Series, let alone he's still in the Cup. But rumors circulating that this could be his final season in that five car there, which he spent a total of two seasons in the 38 and two seasons, this would be his second season, in the five. And then it comes to question his capability of running in the league and you know, this is the only series that you have with this name here, as well as Kyle Miller and a few others here. Even Devin Becker. Eric Sullivan as well. Hunter Meyer. Even Alex Ferranti. Hard the wall. That's the 43 of Kyle Miller. I remember, too, Kyle Miller, he did announce that after this season, he will not be coming back. Oh, and in the wall again. Last season, that 43 car was on fire. Literally, we cannot mention the word on fire because it just, that was how he was. He came over as the caution is out. I was going to finish, though, at that race two at Auto Club. He won there, and then he won at Iowa, and he won, I believe, one more race throughout the time. The time being, and that is it. But the caution is out. And it looks like it's for Charles Sanford in the 03. Caution will wave. And finally, our first caution will come out as we're nearing the end. Now comes the question. Is there going to be a pit stop coming along the way? Doesn't look like there's going to be an indication. Unless I can be proved wrong. And it looks like no one is coming down. Not one person. Even with some of those people that have smacked the wall the right side of their car, it just does not look like it. Plenty of people to have it, too. Caution's out. Cody Lama is the leader. Let's go take a look what happened to Charles Sanford. Well, I'm certainly amazed this did bring out a caution because nine times out of ten out of any track like this, uh, especially toward the apron, this would not be a caution. But apparently, I guess, I don't know, said, yeah, go caution out. Connor Meyer gets an Alex Ferranti who then goes down into Charles Sanford. Meyer and Ferranti are okay. Sanford looks like he's going to be A-OK -okay until he slides heading toward the infield wall, smacks it right there at a reasonable hit right there, and then just... Does enough where it does a little bit of a half slide. You're going to see right about there. And uh, I guess the official said, you know what? Throw that caution out. I guess because of that Tanner Sullivan car was heading into that picture. And they had to throw that caution out. There it is. Yeah, so. Very big surpriser there. But this changes everything. Now the question is. What's going to happen with Cody Lamas here? Take it back to the green to see who's going to be out on front to win this race. Pace guard soon has one lap to go. No one is out of the race. However, though, we're going to have a total of 10 laps to go when we go back to the green. So, pretty much the top 10 has stayed the same ever since we did that rundown. However, the way I see it, the top 4 have actually looked really good. Even top 5... But can Cody Lamas hold them off? Rogers in second, Richie third, Becker fourth, Powers fifth. Spillman, Washer, Fitzwater, Duncan, Paul third. Could they pull something out of the hat? He's Michael Wall with all the damage. He's still running 12th. As green flag comes underway here at Iowa. Only 10 laps to go. Pretty even start. However, Rogers now trying to capitalize on that. And Cody's just got too good of a car right there. Paul Barber just got sent up to the outside there by Anthony McCurry. That's a battle for 13th. And now a battle for the top 10. Stephen Pauly III, Dylan Pote side by side. Dylan Pote wants the spot. Pauly III trying to hang on. And it may not look good for Stephen Pauly III unless he gets a run coming into this turn. Not going to happen. He's going to keep fighting. Washer and Fitzwater are bound for a spot. 
and still Cody on front. Matthews really with a lot of damage there in that 09, you can see. Smacking with the left and right side. Not a good day for S3 Motorsports there. The only good person out there that's barely doing decent is Jessica Sheldon, who's just outside the top 20. And now Rogers is starting to lose ground on Cody Lamas. And Washer now starting to lose the top 10, possibly. And instead, holds on to it. Zach Rogers just can't get that bump to get the Cody Lombs' back bumper. He just lost three-tenths of a second right there to the 48. And now Anthony Ritchie once again to the back bumper of the 9. Oh, it was a battle for fifth. Changed his mind. Now Washer trying to go after Zachary Fitzwater in the 16. Fitzwater swung it wide, and he's going to get into the wall, and he's going to lose some ground. Oh, and in the wall goes the 16 right there. Again, not good for Zachary Fitzwater. All of this, though, behind Cody Lomas. And he has just been man on a mission. He has been known as the ice man. Not seem to have good luck. And oh boy, that's not really good at all. Three wide towards the back of the field. And I believe the caution comes out. That race is over. These guys are just racing. They don't even care at this point. And oh, the third has really fell back. With all the damage, he is now outside the top 20. That 06 was a lot of trouble. And the 02 stuck behind the 06. I'm just trying to get to that inside line to get around Steve Hall in the third. It's not happening. And we'll finally have that opportunity. Hall in the third the same. Now Fitzwater outside the top ten. Dylan Pote and Michael Wald have cracked the top ten. But Curry now trying to want that tenth spot. And now Rogers, he ain't giving up. He's caught back up to the 48. Can Zach Rogers, though, in the Mopar Dodge capitalize and get his first enter a cell win? But now he's starting to lose ground the 48 again. I don't think he'll catch up to Sullivan, though, so it looks good for Cody Lamas. Last time he has won, it has been a long time for Car 48. Trying to snap a good long winless streak is Lamas. White flag is out for Cody. The enter cell hasn't been too kind to him for other leagues. But a whole different story. He's been very well known, getting wins left and right. Well, now coming off turn number three and heading into turn number four, Cody Lamas will break the winless streak he has. Checker flag is waving. Lamas wins at Iowa's completing from coast to coast, from the first lap to the last lap, leading every single lap. He wins it today. Big win for Cody. Job well done by Cody Lovis right there. And he gets the W today. Zach Rogers second, third. Anthony Ritchie, Devin Becker fourth, Mesa Powers fifth. Quinn Spellman sixth, Chris Washer seventh. William Duncan eighth. Ninth, Dale Poche, between the top ten. Michael Walton. So here's the rest of your results here. And just had a few nobles. Johnny Gardner ended up 12th right there. Curry just missed out in that top 10. He'll come away 11th, though. Zachary Fitzwater. Kyle Keith got in the 16th spot right there. Michael Norman didn't even talk about him. Got 15th there. JT Bryant just cracked the top 20. Barely beating out Zach Flickinger there. Angel Navarro lost some ground. Brett Fritcher, Paul in the third. Jessica Shelton, the outside pole sitter, struggled all day and was followed in the back. Caleb Paris, 28th. Or, yep, 28th there. Bishop, the runner-up at, at Ireland there, will end up 32nd. Meyer Ferranti there. And there's Tanner Sullivan, who had that problem with the cylinder go down at the uh, entire race there. He'll end up last. That is it here from Iowa. What an interesting weekend, nonetheless. Total of three cautions throughout 
the entire week two and out back one in cup. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like, comment your thoughts, this, subscribe part of the internet, so I'm hitting that subscribe button, and we will see you guys for the race of the rain of the season, which will be at Open Road. We'll have back-to-back -back road course races, and then our throwback at Atlanta. So that should be interesting. So until then, I will see you guys later. Peace.